How's it going, everyone? Andy Sean 45 coming at you. Now, I'm sure you guys, like myself, have been keeping tabs on the news uh, these past few days, and you all know about the story of Steve Stevens, the Facebook murderer, who on Easter Sunday just goes out, finds this uh, this el- this innocent elderly gentleman by the name of Robert Godwin Sr., and just murders him in cold blood right there on the street, and videotapes it. The good news is, yesterday in Erie, Pennsylvania, Stevens was uh, was caught by the police, well, technically a, a McDonald's employee who alerted the police, and after a brief chase, he, uh, he commits suicide actually in the middle of the chase. So that's the good news. This guy is no longer a threat to society. He is off the streets permanently. But look, I'm not here to report the news. You guys know the story, so you don't need you don't need me to tell you that. But I just I just have a few th- a few thoughts to get off my chest about this whole thing. This incident just shows yet another example of how screwed up our society truly is. Now, I'm not saying that something like this has never happened before where, you know, some 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 demonically possessed psychopath just, you know, figures, oh, oh well, screw it, I'm just going to go out and kill somebody. Of course that's happened before. But what I'm getting at is this kind of thing is getting worse. It really is. I mean, it's something that seems to be happening a little more frequently than what we're used to. And hell, I know for a fact that this is nothing new. I mean, just last year down in Texas, there was a woman by the name of Christy Sheets. I don't know if you guys saw this story or not, but this woman named Christy Sheets, she who you know, he, she go she claimed to be a Christian. She went to a Baptist church. She murders her own two daughters in cold blood. Why? To punish her husband. So fast forward to now. This thing with uh the Steve Stevens murdering this this uh, elderly gentleman Godwin no different. But all, all I can say is this, this, this is just, it's so, it's beyond sickening. This demonically possessed son of a bitch goes out and senselessly murders this elderly innocent man who was doing nothing but picking up cans to collect and recycle. And why? Because his girlfriend broke up with him. I almost don't even know what to say. I mean, that is beyond sickening. So, so, so because he's having a bad day, his idea is just to go to go out there and pop somebody who has nothing to do with his problems. <sighs> Good lord! I mean, you know, and and this uh, this Godwin, he didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that. I mean, this is a guy who was in the winter of his life. He should be enjoying his retirement years, spending time with his family, his grandchildren, and doing the things that he likes to do, that he's worked his whole life for. Instead, it was it was robbed from him and taken from him by some demonically possessed son of a bitch. And yes, I use the term demonically possessed here, but I believe it to be real. And you know what? It is real. It's a fact. Same with that woman down in Texas last year. Both demonly possessed psychopaths. It's really sad. It, it really is that sad. I just and this, the real sick part is the guy's ex, the Stevens' ex girlfriend was even defending him, saying, "Oh, he was such a nice guy, and this and that, and blah 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 blah." Oh, really? So a nice guy decides to, after you break up with him, to go out and just kill some some elder, elderly gentleman in cold blood? That's a nice guy? Give me a freaking break. It, it's just beyond sickening, guys. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but it's true. It can't be said enough. This is sickening. And this is just, again, another example of how screwed up our society truly is. But you know something else, guys? In addition to how screwed up the situation completely is, one thing I'd like to know is this. Where's Black Lives Matter? Where's Jesse Jackson? Where's Al Sharpton on this? Really? Where where are those assholes? Where, where are those sons of bitches on this? Nowhere to be found. Why are they not nowhere to be found? Because this incident 
doesn't fit their, fit their narrative. I mean, hey, this was a this was a black man who killed an, el an elderly black man. You know, black on black crime. But what's the narrative that they like to see? They want to they, they they see they won't say shit because this is not a cop killing a criminal, a criminal that was trying to fight with the cop, and, and ends up getting himself killed for doing something stupid. This is an innocent an innocent black man who was murdered by a demonically possessed psycho. And Black Lives Matter, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, all those race baiting assholes, nowhere to be found. So, another example of how how screwed up our society is. Um, and the, you know, and the thing is, unfortunately, I saw the, I saw this video. Very disturbing. I, I don't encourage anybody to go watch it. It, it is sickening. But that Godwin guy had his hands up. So, so really, so, so again, with this happening, where's all the oh, hands up, don't shoot morons? Where are they? So it, it, the point that I'm trying to get at with it, with this is those people really show that they show where their, what their agenda truly is. Apparently to them, this Godwin's life didn't matter. So black lives matter full of shit. Uh, Jesse Jackson, full of shit. Al Sharpton, full of shit. All these race-baiting jerk-offs, full of shit. So, the bottom, the, the moral of the story is this, guys. Our society is screwed up, and all these things show it. So, with that said, that's, uh, that's my thoughts for this video, uh, for this, uh, for this, for this incident. And, uh, you know, my prayers go out to the, the Godwin family. Um, I'm just some stranger I know, but still I'm going to offer my condolences to them because this was an, an innocent elderly man whose life was taken senselessly by a, by a, a coward, demonically possessed maniac. So with that said, guys, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. God bless and have a good night.